Jen Tran never saw herself as a main character. Now she's the first Asian bachelorette. For the first time in The Bachelor's 22-year history an Asian-American woman will be handing out roses and navigating drama hoping to end the season with an engagement. Hello please click join button to help me get equipments and make more quality videos for you, or you know just to get me a juice. Thanks already. Tran a 26-year-old Vietnamese-American woman who was introduced on Joey Grazia Day's Bachelor season this spring is ready to break the mold as the 21st Bachelorette. For me growing up I never really had Asian representation in the media. And because of that I really struggled with my identity in trying to figure out who I was and who I could become Tran tells USA Today. To be able to be that role model that I was looking for when I was a kid it really is surreal. Tran's starring role comes as the diasporic group of Asian Americans native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders is underrepresented on broadcast and cable TV says a 2023 Nielsen report. Streaming content represents the group at a rate above population estimates. To be able to see, Asian Americans, on huge reality shows that are watched by a lot of people that makes a huge difference in how people perceive Asian Americans says Nancy Wan Yoon sociologist and author of Real Inequality, Hollywood Actors and Racism. As the latest of the franchise's firsts which included Rachel Lindsay, the first black bachelorette in 2017, and Matt James, the first black bachelor in 2021, Tran doesn't take the job lightly. I absolutely experienced a lot of pressure being the first Asian American bachelorette she says. And I think that if I didn't feel that pressure that would be weird right? Because this is a very historic moment being the first in 21 seasons. It's a moment that a lot of people have been waiting for. And it means a lot because we're working towards change. Embodying the role didn't come naturally at first. Standing in the driveway of a Southern California mansion wearing a custom-made beaded white gown with her dark waist-length hair falling in natural-looking waves in the season premiere Tran acknowledges she was afflicted by imposter syndrome. I just never saw myself as a main character before she says. Now she realizes the perfect bachelorette is just who you are to your core and being yourself. Jen's bachelorette announcement, I am going to lead my own love story. The journey to stumbling across this revelation didn't happen on her own. Tran worked with the show's producers and a diversity equity and inclusion consultant throughout the season's three-month production. They were so supportive of every little thing that I had going on in my head she says. Sometimes I need fashion advice and sometimes I need advice on how to talk about my race and my culture. On the Call Her Daddy podcast last month Tran revealed one way she will showcase her culture on the show is by conversing with her mother in both Vietnamese and English. Such interactions will highlight the immigrant experience of balancing multiple cultures and finding a middle ground among generations of family members. I really wanted her to be her most comfortable self because I wanted people to see that we do speak Vietnamese at home Tran says. It's hard figuring out where your mix is like how Vietnamese are you? How American are you? Join our watch party. Sign up to receive USA Today's movie and TV recommendations right in your inbox. Tiffany Chow VP of Entertainment and Media at the nonprofit Gold House hopes to see Tran and her contestants represented authentically. Chow points to two studies Gold House collaborated on that highlight Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders' desire for more accurate representation. Sociologist Yoon was heartened to see Tran's casting announcement. It's really refreshing to see an Asian woman be the lead of her own love story Yoon says. She's the subject rather than the object which is how Asian women have long been represented in popular culture in the West. Trans casting is significant not only as part of Bachelor history but also considering the U.S.S. history of anti-immigration and anti-miscegenation laws Yoon says. This country has had a history of controlling essentially who was allowed to fall in love. Although the franchise has made improvements in diverse casting the dearth of AAPI men this season has sparked some criticism. Only one man on her season Thomas Nguyen is identified as Asian American in his ABC bio. Of the 31 suitors competing for Rachel Lindsay's heart seven years ago 11 were black.
However in 2021 the lawyer turned media personality revealed several of these black men were not interested in dating a black women. I did notice that they didn't cast a lot of Asian men. To me that's a missed opportunity, to reach audiences that have not come, into, Bachelor Nation Yoon says. No Asian bachelors, yet, why fans hope this bachelorette star would change that. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times last month Bachelor producers conceded they have made mistakes when it comes to diversity equity and inclusion. It's hard to say out loud that people of color didn't see themselves represented that they did not see the Bachelor franchise as a safe place said Bennett Grebner an executive producer. On the lack of Asian American suitors he said, that's on us. We didn't do what we needed to do. Our hope is that they will see Jen and realize this is a safe space. We're not saying it will solve and fix everything. But it is a step. On ABC's Bachelorette premiere, Monday 8 EDT slash PDT, Jen Tran will greet 25 men looking to make a lasting impression on the Miami student training to be a physician's assistant. This article originally appeared on USA Today, Bachelorette Jen Tran talks pressures joys as first Asian lead.